Well, modern electronics use a number of rare earth minerals in their bat batteries and circuitry. Uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo is where much of these minerals are mined, often dug by hand by people endangering, endangering their health and safety for low wages. In the face of criticism, the high-tech industry has launched an initiative to improve the conditions under which such minerals are mined. VOA senior analyst Jeffrey Young has details. They're considered essential these days. Mobile phones, tablets, computers. And with technology always advancing, manufacturers demand raw materials in a never-ending stream. These electronics, especially their batteries, depend on rare earth minerals such as tantalium and cobalt. A significant amount of these minerals come from the Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC, especially in the southern region that used to be called Katanga, where the major city is Lomambashi. Those who toil in these so-called artisanal mines, hand digging, washing, sorting and hauling what they find, end the day with the equivalent of only a few dollars. And some of those working in the mines are young children. The number of school children toiling in the mines is large, according to Amnesty International researcher Mark Drummond. The United Nations, which is based in the DRC, says that there are at least 40,000 children uh, working in these artisanal mines in the southern part of the country. How many are working on cobalt as opposed to other minerals, we don't know, but it's clearly a very large problem. Drummond says poverty compels families to send their children to work in mines and not to school. He adds that the problem is made worse because of school fees in the DRC that some parents cannot afford. The DRC has laws and follows treaties banning the use of child labor, but enforcement is weak, according to a representative of African Resources Watch in Lumumbashi, speaking to VOA via Skype, Richard Ilunga Mokina. Unfortunately, this legislation are not applied here in Congo. That's the, uh, the main problem we are here. It is to apply uh, legislations uh, about protecting uh, uh, children who are working in uh, mining seats. In hand-dug artisanal mine pits, workers go sideways into the earth as well as straight down. And sometimes collapses take place, burying miners alive. And that's not the only deadly hazard they face, says Amnesty's Mark Drummond. And the miners also don't have protective equipment. For example, um, uh, inhaling cobalt dust can be extremely dangerous. It can cause a fatal lung disease called, called hard metal lung disease. In the face of mounting criticism, a Chinese business group, along with Apple, HP, Samsung and Sony, launched last December the Responsible Cobalt Initiative. The goal is to get manufacturers to obtain their cobalt from reputable sources, not from dangerous mines. And last November, the Electronic Industry Citizenship Council launched its own initiative to stop trading rare minerals with militias that use mining for revenues. Compliance will take time. Meanwhile, from dawn to sunset in southern DRC, shovels continue to turn in the deep earth. Jeffrey Young, VOA News.